Welcome back, everybody. It's been a month since I started my challenge of reaching guild cap on a random server before the release of Dawn Trail. I wanted to see if I would be able to complete this without a level boost, MSQ skip, or random charitable donations. With Dawn Trail coming out sometime this summer, that gave me roughly six to eight months to reach my goal, or roughly 125 million gil per month. This is a high bar I set myself, and realistically very difficult, especially with wanting to release YouTube videos and streaming random games. I knew I was giving myself an almost impossible task, but I figured if I failed, I'd at least have the chance to help other people learn how to make yell. A bit of backstory about myself, I was part of the mass wow exodus that occurred about three years ago. At the time, I was used to the wealth of information that the WoW community made available through WoWhead and random videos. Anything I needed to look up was already just sitting there in video or written form waiting for me to find. Whereas coming to 14 was a bit of a culture shock in that at the time, a lot of information just wasn't there. You have a Orizin database that would give you the quest information, hardly anything more and you would click the link praying that it has one or two comments with the information you are actually looking for. I remember when I was decorating my house and I wanted a particular plant that could only be bought from the Domon Enclave. What the hell is the Domon Enclave? I have never heard of this before this mo very moment. I spent hours trying to figure out how to unlock it and there was like hardly any information. I went to the Aorzean database and it just said that it was just some random thing in Stormblood. It didn't tell me which quest to start with to unlock it or anything. And there was no videos at the time. I don't even remember how I figured it out. Or when I found out you could change the color of your chocobo. And there wasn't even a Reddit post that linked to the calculator. I'll put the link in the description so if you were interested in more. A lot of this information is now available. But a common argument I hear all the time from people wanting to learn how to make gil is the goblins will never tell us how they really make gil because if everyone knew they would F themselves by flooding the market. I don't believe this is true. In my experience, those that have massive amounts of gil have put in the time to reach those ranks. They looked at all the various ways to make gil and chosen one or few they enjoy doing, whether it's hopping across all the servers to buy stuff to flip making the same furniture item for the thousandth time or running the vault on a blue mage at 100 times a day. What well, sounds tedious and boring to one person is exactly what another person loves to do. There is no lottery ticket that will make you rich overnight. Just like everything else in life, if you put in the work, you'll see a return on your investment. My main goal with this channel is to make available all of the ways I've found to make a decent gil versus time investment. As of recording this video, I'm in the middle of my 6.5 MSQ patch. I'll finish before the end of the weekend. So the time I've been devoting to grinding the MSQ can be focused on farming guild and learning even new ways. For instance, I've already begun work on my Island Sanctuary because once it gets rolling, Island Sanctuary is what I like to call free money. It won't make me rich, but by copa posting a Discord post each week, I'll receive currency to buy free items. I've also got my culinary up to 90 and almost completed her 620 gear. My botanist is at level 81 and as soon as she's 90, I'll be able to unlock another farm with the two of those jobs. It will be another farm that I like to call, I'm watching YouTube and AFK farming on 14 in the background kind of farm. A farm I do when I don't really like focusing too much on the game and just want to veg out and watch YouTube. More of this will be available in the future. I've also gotten my fishing up to level 80, but that's only because of the Moogle event. I had no intentions of leveling my fishing on this character at all, but it's an easy five tombstones every two hours and I couldn't pass that up. It has also helped me gear up my botanist with the white scripts rewarded for each ocean fishing excursion. I haven't had to spend any gill keeping my botanist up to gear. My other freshmen are roughly 50. I stopped turning in daily grand company seal quest every day once I could no longer make the items myself without better gear and it was too expensive to buy the items off the market board. I may level a few of them later to craft furniture and glams. I'm not sure if it will be beneficial yet. I need to do more market board research on this server. I'm probably going to start an MC FC this weekend mainly for the reason that I stop getting random invites every time I come into town. 
when making videos, I didn't want to edit out the chat that comes from being in one of those mass produced FCs. I'm also saddened to say that while I was unlocking my flying in Inwalker yesterday, I lost my Sprout icon. I blame it on all the time I sit AFK and Limsa while editing these videos. I wanted to finish the MSQ with my little Sprout buddy for everyone to see. Oh well. So, I guess it's about time to make a progress report on where my gill is currently standing. As of recording this, my retainers and I have over 28 million gill. That's only 100 million gill behind the schedule. <laughs> Though it's difficult to give a true gill value because I play my account like the stock market. I'm always taking my gill and server hopping to buy items to return a flip. So I'd guesstimate if everything suddenly sold, I'd probably be closer to 50 million gill. It's a little lower than I would have liked to have been by now, but with the MSQ basically done, I no longer need to spend the time grinding that and can focus more on grinding gill. So I know this video is a little different from my usual video, but I wanted to keep people posted on where I'm at, what my goals for the channel currently stand, and what I have in store for the near future. If you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing. It would help me out tremendously and I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.